The most common search terms by state. Lesbian, lesbian, Asian, librarian, droopy, <laughs> balls, <laughs> stepsister. Come on. Oh my god. At least I'm not seeing that much. Yeehaw on this thing. That's pretty racist. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> oh my god. Boats. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not here to shame anyone, but, but <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> Goth Hospital? Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm not, <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Uh, disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer. Uh, disc uh. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to Click. My God, you smell amazing today. Is that a new smell you're smelling? Ooh, very nice. I'm a little bit jealous. Please send it to me in the mail. Thank you very much. Anyway, today, ladies, lasses, and lasses, we're going to do something we haven't done in quite a while. We're going to look at some r slash hole up, which is just things that go along the rails of life, and then there's a twist, and the train crashes, and we're there to witness that beautiful disaster, and I do hope that you enjoy it. Mwah. Oh yes, Clicky, you look amazing too. Oh, thank you, Clicky. I know I look amazing because I look just like you. Oh my god, Clicky Wicky, you know just what to say to make me all blushy. Oh, uh. And then there is a baby. Welcome to Click Academy. Keith, please. 12,000 likes. You get on the train and this girl is doing this next to you. What do you do? Pull her down, rip open her pantyhose, and do a lot of hinky donkey doodle. Yeeha, baby! Keith, my name is Keith, and I'm 12 years old. Keith, you're supposed to be the future of this great nation of Sweden. I don't think this is <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> you're the future of humanity. Please act like it. I don't think we were any better, to be honest. Sexism is alive in America. Went to get an oil change, and all the white cis males laughed at me and told me to get lost. Probably jealous because I drive a Tesla and they don't. Oh, but you see, it's... It, it, <laughs> Dear sir, can you oil my circuits? Oh, I can oil your circuits. RAR XD, I have no idea what that means. Kick my butt to impress your girlfriend. Are you tired of your girlfriend thinking you're a freaking pair? Well, for just a small fee, you can prove her wrong and show her how much of a badass you truly are. Just set up a time and location for me to come harass your girlfriend slash significant other. And then, bam, you come in and rock my shite. Weekdays, $50. Weekends, $60. Rock my shite. Uvu XD. According to Genesis, we all come from Adam and Eve who had three sons. Think about it. Take all the time you need. <gasps> it's the man babies! Oh! Does that, does that mean you poop out the babies? <laughs> The Bible provides some great, like, subtext. This is like the side quest of, of a video game that you haven't really explored, but once you start digging into it and reading between the lines, it's really producing some very interesting theories. Man murdered a lady's mother and cousin. Then she befriended him and supported his early release. Then when he was released, he murdered her too. It was about, like, leading up to a wholesome twist and, like, no, he just kept, just kept going. Just kept going. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it, but the peas are upside down. So you have like a nice little thing here, some fries and... Oh dear god, no. Graphics designer, what have you done? <laughs> oh, it's kind of round here. That matches the roundness of the plate. The whoop. Perfect. Am I being a p My girlfriend, 19, wants me, 20 am, to hold my Glock to her head while we're doing naughties. And I've been taught gun safety since I was six years old. I'm not sure how to go about it, though, what I do is every time you should hold a zip up and up and up. This is my rifle, this is my gun. One is for dumbass, one is for fun. What do you think is going on inside there? Any guesses? Oh dear god. I am quite the fan of this situation. <coughs> Gaming laptop. <laughs> The new RTX with 15 fans. Everyone knows that the thicker the graphics card with the more fans, the more fancy it is. Get it? Fancy? I didn't even intend to make that pun. It just came out. I am so, like, naturally talented. You hear that, Clicky? I'm so naturally... It's amazing. The school doesn't allow Halloween costumes, but they never even noticed. Wait, hold... <gasps> Wait, they're the Scooby-Doo crew. 
Oh my god, that's the best thing. Wait, where's the dog? Where's the pupper? They forgot the pupper. Maybe you can't bring a pupper to school. Singers probably know in which note they moan when doing naughties. Well, I'm no singer, but I know that R. Kelly moans in A minor. <laughs> oh god, fuck the fuck. Your girlfriend and your mom switch bodies. You have to notify one of them to change them back. Who do you notify? Girlfriend, mom. It's the remaining to life. It's the universe infinite. What is on the inside of a black hole? It's your mother and this is Why? Female priest was arrested for doing naughties to males, telling them she's gonna take their demons out. Interesting. Interesting methodology. This here is Jesus' blood and this. Jesus' body. All right, all right, priest. Calm down. What a great idea. And you can keep the trucks running for the warmth. Oh, that's intriguing. Good sleep guaranteed. You will, in fact, never wake up. So, senior prank at Liberty Union High School was to glue down a three-foot adult toy to the floor. Then they covered it with lube to make removing said toy very hard. The school went into lockdown because of a giant toy. I wonder how this school explained the lockdown to the parents. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're having a very hard situation. Our officers are working around the clock to resolve it. They are really throbbing with exhaustion. It's a slippery situation. <laughs> oh. The scariest thing we could discover now would be humans on another planet. We are psychologically prepared for aliens, but what if we found humans instead? There's actually this really interesting book that's called All Tomorrows. It's basically human's evolution over billions of years. It's kind of a science fiction, futuristic speculation kind of thing. It's really cool. And in the beginning of this whole story, humans start traveling into space. And on one planet that usually creatures living on this planet have bronze-based bone structure. But they found this ancient dinosaur-looking thing, which is, well, dead now, that has calcium-based bones. And they're like, wait a second, this doesn't fit into the ecosystem here. It's just like the creatures we have back home. And then after a while, this master alien race comes along and hibbity hoobity, we did it all along. Time to strap you down in your booty. Sci-fi speculations are highly fascinating. There's a YouTube video that actually does a rundown of this book, and I would highly recommend checking that. I'll leave the link in the description for all you sci-fi fans out there. A man tried to rob a bank after paying 500 bucks to a wizard to make him invisible. This feels <laughs> like someone has played a little bit too much D&D. <laughs> My BF is so strong, corky emoji. Yubby of plotting to steal the moon. I'll steal the moon for you. COVID-19 has killed 1.6 million people in the world and you are still alive. Use a few seconds to thank God. Amen. 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 Thanks for killing 1.6 million. Oh my. <laughs> Good morning, Satan. How are you doing? <laughs> this playground. You know the best thing? They probably sat in a board meeting, you know, the local government. They were like, here's the design for this new playground we're gonna fund. Any objections? And everyone's sitting there like, hmm, yes, this looks, this looks good. This guy in my flight just told his girlfriend he wouldn't date her if she was a worm. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> what is, how would that work? It doesn't seem to be like the most intellectual exchange of ideas and emotional support that you would require in an adult relationship. Uh, so anyway. Well, my new license plate came in today. I wish I could say I paid extra as some sort of sick joke, but no. I just so happened to have the world's worst luck. DTF 6969. <laughs> <laughs> Replace the first four letters of both your names with Frick. I am Frick's Frick. <laughs> Wait. I'm just Frick Frick. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what is the best loophole that you've ever found? My brother once yelled, Last one to jump in the pool is gay! And then jumped into the pool. However, I figured out that if I did not jump into the pool, then technically he would be the last one in the pool. And he is still gay to this day! So when the Karens say like, Oh my god, don't do this pride stuff, you're making our children gay. It's like, no, that's not how it works. The pools are the ones that do it. Hashtag new conspiracy. I just found out my husband hear his voice narrating his thoughts in his head. How many of you watching this video hear my voice when you have thoughts in your head? Um, I want to know in the comments. Please uh, indulge me. I know I have my own voice in my head when I do stuff. Mark walked into this room. He was about to record a video. He sat down. He wondered what kind of voluptuous memes he was going to record today. And uh, it was not to his disappointment. If the smoke comes out blue, it will be a boy. If it comes out pink, it's a girl. And it's... Yes, that... Oh... Oh my! What? 
<laughs> oh, this uh, oh, yeah. ah, oh, video time, dev team. This is a square. Can you guess which spot that goes the in? The square. Oh, the communication is working. What a good life. That's right. It goes in the square hole. Yes. Okay. And how about this rectangle? That one. Also the square. That goes in there too. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love my job. Up next. We've got this thin rectangle. The thin rectangle. Can you guess where that goes? The thin rectangle. That's right. It goes in the square hole. Uh, okay, it's not too bad. It's not, uh huh. And up next, a cylinder. Hmm. The circle. I think that goes in the circle. The square hole. <laughs> now we've also got the semicircle right here. Do you see a slot that would fit the, the semicircle? Semicircle. The, sem the semicircle. That's right. It's the square yes. hole. Yes. <laughs> Okay, up next, the triangle. We know what hole that goes into, triangle. right? Triangle. That's right, yeah. the square hole. And up, la up next, we have the arch. The arch. The arch. Oh, you guessed it. It's the arch. It goes Put it in the square arch. hole. I hate my job! Your gangster name is the color of your shirt and the last thing you drank. Who are you? <laughs> Bro. Oh, no. <laughs> no, just no, I'm not calling myself... <laughs> I told my eight-year-old son I would give him $10 an hour to do some weeding. He said, if I can find someone to do it for $5 an hour, can I keep the other five? I uh, don't know whether to be proud or nervous. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I dare you to hit paste in the comments. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. Return has the option to buy five to six nuclear warheads off the shelf. What? Those better be some well-built shelves. <laughs> okay, this was not as spicy as I hoped it would be. <laughs> Leucoaculastic vasculosis. Bless you. <laughs> My wife left me for another man. All that lies ahead now is a miserable, pointless life, with ceasing living seemingly the only way out. And while he's going through all that, I'll be in the pub with my mates every night. Woo! The Yulon Magnolia blossoms appear to look like little birds. Ah, oh, so cute! Uh, why do plants know how birds look? That is. Oh no. Oh. Oh. You know when you're lost in the woods and they tell you to hug a tree? I, I never had a thought before that a tree might be able to see me. That's very unnerving. Being lost in the woods just walking among a bunch of big trees and the thought of them being able to see you makes it a whole lot scarier. My dad says you spy on people. He's not your dad. <laughs> Silly child. <laughs> All animals want to live. Pet food. Where do you draw the line? About right there. Americans are moving to Europe for free college degrees. Lazy immigrants going to another country that's not theirs and taking things for free. <laughs> <laughs> A daily technology news. This wind-powered cargo ship is set to change the way we ship the goods across oceans. The model is very practical and is looking at a possible launch in 2024. <gasps> wind-powered ships? What a time to be alive! We really are in the future! What? Describe your naughty preference using video game titles. Goat Simulator. Tomb Raider. <coughs> Why are video games now filled with soft, naughty heroines with ridiculously large bazonka honka dorkers? Because bros like big booba bishes. Next article writes some real friggin' news. Fan service is a thing. Because it works. Sometimes it does go kind of overboard with the with the cringiness, but you know it, it it does sell. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so prominent. Our friend came over to babysit last night. Ten minutes after we left, he sent me this pic. I'm cooking with the Bobby. Woo! <laughs> How to ensure to never be asked to be the babysitter ever again? Life hacks 101. A friend just sent me this 10-year-old prize structure for a StarCraft tournament, and I can't stop laughing. Prizes, first place, $500, second place, $250, third, $150, fourth, $100, fifth to eighth place, 25 bitcoins. Oh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Long-term GF and I just broke up. This is the best way I know to mend a broken heart. Switch, an old kitty cootie catty. Man arrested for breaking into ex-girlfriend's apartment to steal her Nintendo Switch. That's the only way to move on. Switch priorities. Oh my, was that even a pun? I don't know, but I am gonna own it. Military wives when he goes on to deployment. Alright, I'm gonna go cheat. Let me fail. 
This isn't funny at all. My girlfriend's husband is fighting for your freedom, so show some freaking respect. My girlfriend's husband is fine. Oh, I had to read that twice. <laughs> Seven years ago, I worked at a small company of about 15 people. I sent an email to all my coworkers one Friday, inviting them to a weekend hike. Only one person came, a guy from the web dev team that I'd hardly spoken to. Today is our sixth wedding anniversary. We're going hiking. Web development guy, huh? Sounds like someone who might have the expertise to delete that email from everyone else's inbox. <gasps> Is that smooth or horrifying? It's somewhere in the middle, right? It's somewhere in the middle. This is like devilish dating. This has been looking major sus. That's kind of, oh, that's kind of a sus. I mean, depending on where it is in the world, it could very well be a Hindu peace sign as well, or just a really poor choice of architecture. But without the context, it it does look a little sus, doesn't it? Wanna see my pretty? Uh, sure. Photo. That's your vajuje. I wanna see your cat. I don't have a cat. Then why? You wasted my time. Florida man dirts his hands with peanut butter and punches neighbors allergic to nuts. <laughs> Poison damage plus 25%. Someone told me, I'm not entirely sure if this is true. This is, you know, information and knowledge I have learned from YouTube comments. So take it with like this much a grain of salt. But someone in the comments told me that the reason why the whole Florida man news headline is such a meme is because there are laws in Florida that restricts the newspapers from providing too much personal information when writing news articles about people. That's why it already says stuff like Florida man instead of, you know, uh, showing full names and stuff. Uh, not sure if this is true, but if it is, it's a very cool little factual piece. And if it's not true, it's, uh, it's a cool lie that could have been true. <laughs> Destroy my plan, not my planet. Oh dear. Warning. This guy was supposed to buy our washer drying machine for 150. He wanted to see if it was working first and asked if he could do a load of laundry. After he finished, he said, let me go get the money, got in his car and drove away with his clean clothes. That is so smooth. This is like in college when your parents are done with your dirty clothes. So you just do this. Zoom in and the first thing you see is how you die. Oh dear god, I might have to blur this because uh, there are a lot of naughty words, okay? I'm just gonna zoom in blind and see what happens. Prostate examination. Man with Alzheimer's forget he had Alzheimer's, remembers everything. God? Doctors? <laughs> Spine, lither, ginger, subtext. Oh my god. This reminds me of that really cringy clip from a game show. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Hello, god. friend. What the? Shut up, bitch. What? What are you? <laughs> the future is now. Why have humans that uh, throw slurs and shite at each other? Now we have robots roaming the street doing it for us. Wow, the future is now. Me disables Google Home microphone. Me. Hey, Google. Google Home. Uh, your microphone is currently disabled. Me. Google. This is the same kind of thing where the trees can see you. What are you doing? Laying in bed. Hmm, just laying in bed. <gasps> Nothing else. I'm eating cereal. Ah, <laughs> nice. What would you do if I was in bed next to you? Eat my cereal. <laughs> Lol, I mean, if the cereal wasn't there. Then I'd get out of bed and get some cereal. Virginity is my passion! Woo! He gently slid her panties to one side, so the rest of her socks would fit in the drawer. You wanna know how to clean your car? Here you go, baby. You know how they use uh, hand sanitizer, aka satanizer, for your hands? This is how you do it for your car. Look at that disinfectant. Yamalicious. That's a really expensive car wash. <laughs> Why do people ride on cigarettes that smoking kills? Oh my god, it explodes as well. But not on vodka, which also does. Hmm? Why write smoking kills on vodka? <laughs> Asking comic store goer, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Huh? Um, I'm from Geek TV and today we're talking to local comic fans and finding out what they're purchasing. Uh, so Is what's in the bag? Cruise? <laughs> uh. Oh no. Why would you do this? <laughs> it's called Brother Sister. <laughs> That's awesome. And what is that about? Like a brother sister crime fighting duo? Oh. And the report is just trying to be bubbly and like, ooh, it's so positive. It's about a brother and a sister. Uh huh. That. <laughs> they what? <laughs> they f each other. Why? Why would 
you ask them to clarify? A teacher driven mad by his students. Oh, here we go. So they come into the classroom. Let's continue where we talked about last time. And nothing works on the screen. Who put the picture here? Oh, there's a... Oh, that's so smooth. That is so smooth. So they're now gonna start the real TV. Wait, this is not even a real... <laughs> okay. It's not a real TV. It's not a real TV. Where's the TV? That's the TV. Oh, that's not real either. Pfft. There we go. You did everything right. God, I love my job. They say all oh, strong men are dumb. Oh, oh, it's so painful. Tell your story. Oh, oh, I agree. Oh my God, it's so deep. Oh, show me. Oh, you're so strong. Oh my God. Yes, it's okay. It's, share your story. Share your just. Oh, just no. Oh, it's so deep. Oh my God, it's a struggle. Oh, we live in a society. Oh my God, the society. Oh no. Oh, yeah, stay strong on the inside as well. It's the inside that matters. So if you're getting chased by a murderer, you simply just swiggity swoogity, I'm gonna hide in this corner, and, and the murderer is like, what the heck, Frick? Where did he go? Okay, let's go open the door real quick. And you're like, okay, well, I'm just gonna snag this little chainsaw of yours. And boom, rolls reversed. You're basically now starting your new career. Enjoy. You know, I have something to say about these boys who want to run around wearing dresses. My son told me he wanted to wear this for Halloween. Can you believe it? I told him absolutely not. With his skin color, that'll wash him out. He needs to wear something like this. I mean, what are they teaching kids nowadays? Ugh. You have to match your colors. Kids nowadays have no idea how to match outfits. My god, it's outrageous for Halloween too. Oh. Well, laddies, lasses and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.